Wizards, which is Emma Muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well today. We're going <coughs> to... <laughs> Hello friends, Wizards, which is Emma Muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. We're going to be having a first look at a brand new subscription box to this channel, which we have never unboxed before. And it is this one. It is quite a big box, I'm not going to lie. This is Mist and Magic, and I'm so, so excited to get inside this box. Because, well, not get inside of it. <laughs> Just, do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm not going to get inside the box. But anyway, if you want to know more about this box, then keep on watching. And if you're brand new to this channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to come part of our weird, magical online family. But let's, in fact, before we get going, um, this, I'm gonna t talk about this. I, I slipped in my bathroom and had a fight with my bathroom scales. Um, and that's why my arm looks a little bit like a rainbow. It's quite pretty, to be honest. But yes, just just thought I'd get that out there. But let's go, because we have magic to reveal. Okay then, so let's talk a little bit about this Mist and Magic box. Well, firstly, the theme is magical shops. So diagonally, I am expecting, I'm very, very excited. So I'm just gonna pop up their website. So it's mrmagic.com. Now I've just learned that this box does come in a maxi style as well as a mini style. I believe this is a maxi because of how big it is. I can't imagine they'll get much bigger than that. So the price depends on which size you get. And what's quite interesting about this box, which I've never seen with any other subscription box is that this comes in two languages so it comes in French or you can get the English version and of course I have the English version because unfortunately I do not speak or read French but yeah their website looks very very magical I've not I've not really looked too much into this box because I kind of just wanted to experience it with you guys. But let's just get straight on into it. That's what you're here for. I've got my little pen knife here and let's open it. I honestly have no clue what to expect except a lot of magic. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I love new boxes that I have never unboxed before. Okay, so. Ooh, okay, we're met with purple tissue paper and a whole sea of, wow, okay, wiggly worms. I'm just gonna get, give you a bit more of a sneak peek. Like, it's, it's pretty jam-packed. Okay, so we have got, um, okay, firstly, this is definitely the cheat sheet, which we will look at afterwards, but it says Castle Wind, or Wind, Castle what? The best magical street in Edinburgh. Um, so I'm going to put that to one side because I don't want spoilers. Um, we have got this tiny little card which says Mist and Magic, creating magic since 2015, a magical stationery and artifact shop. That's just got all of their contact information which I will leave down below in the description. Um, okay, let's just dive straight on into it. My first um, thing that got my attention is this box. Ooh, I really like the um, the way it's been displayed. So this is a venom antidote for the most potent and deadly serpentine beasts. Okay, mm, very intriguing and this stuff's really nice quality already. What? Okay. Well, firstly, we have this beautiful vel- Ooh, it's soft, it's squishy. We've got like foam with velvet stuff around it and it has this beautiful anti-venom serum bottle in there oh you could even oh you can fill this yourself that's nice that you can put your own things in there in fact this would be really cute as a little reed diffuser you can you know those um little twigs that you can put in the room perfume things that would be really really cool on the back it has a sticker which says this serum is in gas form one breath is enough in most cases do not exceed three or it can become lethal <laughs> But, um, <laughs> sorry, that was weird. But yes, um, that's a really, it's just a really nice thing. Like, this is something that I would definitely display in my room. I've actually just bought a new reed diffuser, so I am tempted to put the smelly stuff in here. But it's just really nicely displayed that it comes in this really nice box. Thought has been put surrounding 
Wow, words. This item, you can tell that it's it's had a lot of thought put into it. It's, it's just really nice. It's very nicely executed. Let's get on to the rest of the box to see if the rest is like that. Okay, so that was quite a dark artsy type item. Let's, oh, we have, oh, sorry, I've just like stationery. Um, okay, we have got a, a, an item of stationery, which is a notebook, I believe. Yeah. Um, well, this is really nice. We have a little divination teacup for tea leaves. We have a little pendulum thing. They're not called pendulums. They have an actual name and I can't remember what they're called. But yes, it says divination and then some Latin, I think, and a little crystal ball on the back. But you guys know I like stationery. I love notebooks and the fact that it's magical as well pleases me and there's not just this there's an <laughs> I love list pads ah it's got a little owl on it this is gorgeous this is something that I would purchase if I saw it in a shop we've got little cauldrons down here for your to-do lists and little crystal balls we've got a wand an owl and then you could put your title in there and you get quite a lot of pages it's not like 10 pages and you're done it's it's very nice. I do like stationery. I wasn't, I didn't think this is a stationery box, but their little card did say it's magical stationery and artifacts. So it's, it must be a mixture of stationery and magical like replica type items or homeware. I'm not really sure, but I'm digging that there's magical stationery in there. That, that pleases me for sure. Right. Let's, let's dig in here. There's, ooh, okay. We have a little mystery bag. Um, usually I say that good things come in small boxes, but maybe good things come in mystery bags. So there is a little lovely label here, which I've just pulled off. <laughs> it says souvenir shop, and it does have diagonally, or what I assume to be diagonally on there. And I don't know what this could be. Let's, let's open it. Um, it's very nicely presented. Um, everything in this box is so far. Let's, oh, okay, Ooh. let's have a look. Is it a mug? It's quite well packaged. I think it might be a mug. And you guys know I love a mug if you've not checked out my mug. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. I honestly have gone into this box like quite blind not knowing anything about the quality of anything and this is really really nice it's got a beautiful print of um a, a very magical street it doesn't say diagonally none of this stuff is licensed and a lot of it seems to not really nod towards licensed things so it says wand maker instead of olivanders um and yeah, it's got those things, sweets and tricks, which might be a bit of a nod to either Honey Dukes or the Weasley's Wizard's Wheezy Shop, uh, Creatures Bazaar, uh, Apothecary. But the, the artwork is actually really tasteful. It's really nicely done. That would look lovely on a print. It's just a really nice thing. Some mugs that you can get can be quite garish, but this one's actually really nice. I like that and I love that it came in like a little bag uh, instead of a box there is good thoughts that have gone into this okay let's carry on shall we what is in Ooh, what are you okay this looks very magical oh my god that wax seal is mm, it's very nice we've got some moons some stars, a sun, we've got this little ribbon, like the, the attention to detail, chef's kiss. Okay, so this says Winterdale, University of Magic. Ooh, okay, ooh, <gasps> wow, okay, whoa, this, this is crazy. <laughs> okay, so, okay, I like that this isn't really nodding towards Harry Potter as such because none of nothing really says anything towards the Wizarding World franchise it's like they've made their own so it says uh, Winterdale University of Magic dear applicant thank you for your application to study advanced magic at Winterdale University we are delighted to inform you um, of your admission and then it's got look this is like origami we've got um, an items list with books and stuff and then Oh, there's a map of Scotland 
with all the railways. Oh, this is very, very, this is just like nuts. And then, then you've got some train tickets here, which are in this little, like, I don't know how, can you see how intricate this is? Um, I'm kind of shook right now. So we've got Scotland Railways for one single journey, Edinburgh to Applecross, and then we've got a, a ferry company. So we've got a ferry as well. That's really cool. So you've got like everything. You've got your kind of invitation slash acceptance letter, your your items list, your map, your tickets. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go to Winterdale. This is very, very beautiful. And I wasn't really expecting, um, I don't know what I was expecting, but this is, it, it exceeds expectations, let me tell you. So I was just putting my tickets back in. But this is so cool, the way that it all kind of folds in back into itself and keeps everything safe. Like, it's very, very beautiful and it's really well thought out. And I'm a big fan of that. To, you know, a lot of effort has just gone into that and it shows, it shows. Okay, this is definitely getting my attention, this cylindrical shape. I'm guessing it's a print, maybe a long print. Uh, I need my, I need my knife. Ooh. Okay, try not to. Ooh. Okay. And we're in. Wow, okay. Is this... A poster no it's a set of posters that are very very high quality um the the they're like thick card really like matte very very nice okay so first we have sweets and tricks which is their version of either honey jukes or um i think it is yeah so it has a choco salamander Ghost Breath, we've got Dragon Eggs, Flying Cupcakes, I would love a Flying Cupcake right now. Uh, we have Sugar Pumpkins, Frosty Bites, oh they look very nice. Um, I also love, I love the colour theme of this, it just works really nice with all the pastel. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry, you're going to realise why I've just made that face. Um, what the golden snitch what <laughs> what that is 100% frame worthy that is stunning what on earth mr magic this is the constellations of the northern sky we've got a white stag a phoenix kelpie a manticore, a dire wolf, a basilisk, a hippogriff, a sea serpent, and a raven. Oh my word, Merlin's beard, that is stunning! Um, foiling just makes everything better. This is, yeah, ooh, it's very nice. And we've still got one print to go, um, which is here. This is a wand, so this is the Ashbourne wand. Um, I mean, that kind of looks like the Philosopher's Stone, but it's a crystallised dragon blood something. Um, it's got fire elements, and then we've got a phoenix down here. So it's got a phoenix feather core, crystallised dragon's blood, um, ash wood. You've got the measurements and an entire description of this stunning wand. So I'm guessing the end of this wand is the crystallised dragon's blood. Uh, all the runes have an explanation as well which is really cool um that is very nice um the fact that they've put not one not two but three prints in and one of them was shiny so shiny um yeah that's it's mr magic are impressing me right now okay we've got a big thing here a mystery thing um it's wooden Okay. Oh wow. Okay, look how stunning this is. This is a potions kit. It has a latch made out of some sort of metal. We've got this beautiful little label window which says number 17,853 and it's from Norlands Apothecary, Castle Wind, Gwynd, Edinburgh, Scotland. Yeah, this is really fun that they've made all their own magical shops. Um, oh my god! 
it is a potions kit. Um, let's go through it. Rude not to. Uh, firstly, it tells you everything inside. And there is, uh, oh, there's crystallized dragon's blood in here, apparently. Oh, no, this is cock cocker what? <laughs> Cockatrice eggs? Ooh, not sure if I pronounced that right. These enchanted eggs will keep their properties and stay fresh for years. Reduce eggshell to thin powder before adding it to your potion. Mm, there is indeed little eggs in there. Oh. Sorry, um, there's two of them, in fact. Um, yes, we've got little eggs. They're like little Occamy eggs, aren't they? But not. Those are very cute. I love this idea. This is feeling like real magic. It's like this is a potions kit from the Wizarding World, which is very cool. Um, something smells nice. And I'm not sure what it is. Um, this is Gold Butcher's Broom Leaves. And inside, there are indeed little golden leaves. I need to know more about this. But yes, there are leaves in here. I believe that they are actually real. I can see that they're made out of real wood and they've been painted gold. They're very, very intricate, delicate, really pretty. I love these potion bottles as well. Um, the labels are quite nice. Let's continue. Okay, oh, there's like little sections in here. That's very sweet. This is dried lavender buds. Okay, I'm not gonna open this one because it is just gonna be lavender. And that's what smells nice. So there should be two more things in here, which I think is in here. Wow. Whoa, 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 OMG. <laughs> so we've got crystallized dragon's blood in here and it is actually liquid and it's got crystals in it as well um this looks really cool this is probably the coolest potion insides that i've seen that's sounds really odd but all the potions on my shelf a lot of them are either like resins um or like lichen and that kind of thing but this one's really cool i've never seen one that's filled with stuff like this it's got a wax top as well so that it doesn't spill and we do have another one here which is the sleeping drought draft drought draft draft and it's got it's just got pretty things inside of it it's this it's just very well thought out i'm gonna pop all these back into its little box um there we have it, the little potions kit. Um, it's just really, it's really nice. This would look beautiful on Instagram. It's very, very Instagrammable. It's, I just love the witchcraft aesthetic of everything about this, the label, the wood, the metal. It just, has, have I just found like one of my new favorite subscription boxes? Maybe, maybe I have. Um, what else is in here? Okay, we've got many wiggly worms. Um, lot packaging. I think we've got a few more flat things um, to go through. Let's just have a quick look. Yes, I think this is the end of the box. So let me just move that to one side. Okay, so let's start with this. This is uh, apparently an enchanted parchments letter writing set. Oh, this is very thoughtful. Okay, um, it is what it says. It's It looks like this. You've got a little envelope here. Is there anything inside? Yes, there is. <gasps> oh my God, what are they? Ah, they've included loads of stamps, like little sticker stamps, like the hippogriff. We've got um, an armillary sphere, which is like a very beautiful metal thing, which you'd see in Dumbledore's office. We've got dragon eggs. Uh, we've got a spell book. Um, and oh my goodness, this is just gorgeous that they've included. <sighs> I do love a good magical stamp. We've got um, envelopes to write, to put your to put your letters in which you can write on this parchment which is very beautiful it's got stars in the corner it's double-sided again the presentation and thought that has gone into this has it's blowing my mind if i'm completely honest with you guys um 
so yeah you have a little writing set with your little stamps in there envelopes paper and then it shuts to look like a book and it's got like a ribbon spine it says it, it's got the address on the back for the shop that it came from very nice more stationery and last but certainly not least we have got this mystery um envelope i just love this they've thought to put it in like this little paper bag and a little sticker that says souvenir shop on it which is a shame to rip the sticker so i'm going to rip the bag instead Boop. here we have it so these are postcards um oh aren't they lovely <laughs> okay so we have a phoenix postcard it says magical postcard on the back you could send these to people um it is believed that only one exists at a time and lives for about 500 years um and then we have the essence of euphoria which i assume is um a liquid luck because look at that bottle we recognize that and then we have ensnaring joy um which looks like this these are just very nice they would be quite nice in a frame maybe but or to send to your magical pals that was the last thing in the box um let's have a look at this gorgeous cheat sheet whoa they put a lot of i think the nicest cheat sheets that i've ever come across so far are by lit joy crate and they're always very very in-depth they're beautifully thought out they look like catalogs they're really really cool um but i think these guys have done an oh what are you i oh, know i think they've i think um i believe that they're missing an item so it says we are sorry to announce that we're not able to include the phoenix wax seals in this stationery set they have unfo the fact that they were going to include those is cool they have unfortunately been jinxed by mistake to make any envelope invisible once stuck on it which is quite unfortunate we were not able to reverse the jinx in time to ship the boxes so please accept our apologies for this inconvenience good to know good communication um but yes as i was saying this cheat sheet i haven't fully seen it myself yet but boom double-sided very thought out um tis gorgeous everything about it it's very very nice let's read i'm i'm not going to read through absolutely everything i don't think but but let's have um a good look so we had um so the first thing on here firstly it says all the magical shops that um everything has come from oh no no it's saying what the things are so we had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven items in this box so let's start with the winterdale university of magic admission letter which was really impressive uh, it says all winterdale university students should have received their uh, admission letter you will find in it your travel tickets a map of the area and an official supply list of everything you need to start your magical studies it had everything in there it was very very cool um then we have the one Wandmaker shop which was the wand makers print which was here um really nice quality card the first shop to visit is of course the wand maker shop choosing your wand is so important you need the best quality wand don't worry they have a very wide range of wands you'll find the perfect match uh, so this is a a3 print uh, don't forget to have a look around the shop they have some very useful kits to clean and take care of your wand also keep an eye out for their awesome prints like this one of the legendary ashbourne wand this is very nice um then we had i think it says storm crows potions and elixirs um look how beautiful this is uh it's so cool um uh, so this is the venom antidote which we got and it says presented in a beautiful velvet box it really was uh this potion is an essential for all magi zoologists and will protect them from dragon and sea serpent bites stormcrow has been known for their potion making mastery for hundreds of years and venom antidotes are one of their specialities so that's yeah the the presentation was really lovely color me impressed um then we have norland's apothecary potions kit they've made their own diagonally like i'm a little bit shook so yes this is the apothecary potions kit which we just looked through you will find here the 
only the highest quality of ingredients carefully selected and mixed together to obtain the best results. This apothecary potions kit is an essential item to learn the art of potion making and start building your potions cabinet. Well, as you can see, I've already made a head start on my potions cabinet. Um, so yes, it, it was cockatrice eggs. Cockatrice, cockatrice. May have to have a little Google of that. But yeah, it's got all the lists of all of the things that were found in that kit. Then we had the gorgeous map. Um, where is that beautiful map? Oh, yes, this definitely needs framing. So this says Ortilius um, Maps. Ortilius is the most famous map maker of enchanted maps uh, with its velvety texture quite soft touch it is yes and gold foil this luxurious map oh let me show you a little bit more is a beautiful collector's item yes it is symbols of the astrological signs the northern constellations have been hand drawn amongst the stars this northern sky map has also been enchanted to orient itself as soon as you step outside the under the night sky. Um, so pretty. We we do love a little bit of foiling. And then last but certainly not least of the prints, we have the Sweets and Tricks shop. Uh, it says magical sugary treats that will delight everybody. Uh, do not forget to stop by the most magical sweet shop in Edinburgh for a little sugary treat. The storefront is a feast for the eyes and won't miss to entertain your little ones. From sugar pumpkins to flying cupcakes, not forgetting the most popular dragon eggs, this store has all of your favourite childhood treats and more. <laughs> but yeah, so that's really cool. I love that they've designed their own kind of like honey duke thing. And then we have the Occult Emporium, which was some of the stationery stuff. And that had the A4 divination notebook. It says that this shop specializes in the divinatory arts. Sorry, I was just like, I've never read that word before. Uh, you will find everything you need from crystal balls, pendulums. Oh, maybe I was right, it was a pendulum. Um, to the most beautiful tarot decks. The future won't have any secrets for you, but are you prepared to unveil its mysteries? This notebook is an essential tool in your path towards unveiling your future, a trusted companion in your walk of discovery, where you'll be able to record all your insights into the misty magical future. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, really nice little notebook. Okay, I think we're on to the other side now. Um, Okay, so this was the letter writing set which had something missing. We should have had some gold wax seals, but honestly, even without it, it's a beautiful piece. It says, keep in touch with your fellow wizards and, well, sorry, keep in touch with your fellow witches and wizards. I'm so used to saying it the other way around. Um, thanks to this wonderful letter writing set. Yeah, I, I loved the stamps, the sticker stamps. Very, very cool. And it comes with parchments. So this is by the shop called Enchanted Parchments. Uh, you got 10 letter paper sheets five uh, natural envelopes, six, oh, we should have got six phoenix wax seals, um, and then five magical stamps. Be careful, you may need additional postage stamps as those magical stamps do not work with the common non-magical post, or as we like to call it, muggle post. And then there is the to-do list notepad, which, again, I'm definitely going to use that. Set your goals and tasks for the day with this magical notepad. Each page contains multiple sections for important events, favourite potion recipes, or things to remember, as well as check-off lists so you don't forget anything ever again. <gasps> Ooh! Okay, what else is left on here? We had the lovely mug from the souvenir shop. Last but not least, be sure to pop into the souvenir shop to grab some memento of your visit to the most magical street of Edinburgh. This magical shop ceramic mug is dishwasher and microwave will say, well, that is jolly good to know. And then it has the, um, the, the print that is on the mug on here, which is very nice. And then we had the postcard set, which we have three of, um, the other one's on the table. Uh, and don't forget to bring some magic to your family and friends with this set of lovely postcards. And I believe we have looked at the entire cheat sheet. Sorry that it was too big to put on the screen for you, but hopefully that you can, you can get a little bit of a feel for... Um, it if I hold it up like this for you um but it's very very beautiful a lot of design and thought and magic has been put into it okay let's let's talk about this then um I thoroughly enjoyed this box I like that their imaginations have made their own spin of 
the wizarding magical world. I think that's really cool. It, it's also, yeah, I don't know, it's just really nice. I had a really good feeling opening this box. It was really, really enjoyable. I'd love to know your thoughts. I think my favourite thing from the entire box was probably the potions kit. Um, I think that was really, really special, but I also really liked this um, admissions acceptance letter. Um, there was a lot of nice things, and obviously the prints were high quality. Um, I liked everything. It was really fun to open, and I think... Um, so I, th I think the maxi box is around £58, and I think the mini box is around £40. And I think... I do think it's worth it. The quality of things is lovely. The thought, like this could go straight onto that potion shelf if there was enough room and it would look fantastic. Um, no corners seem to have been cut with this box. Um, yeah, colour me impressed. The presentation, the thought, the magical vibes. I really like this box and I hope you guys do too. I would definitely love to unbox this again on my channel color me impressed very nice but as per usual i'd love to know your thoughts leave a comment down below what was your favorite thing what was your least favorite thing i don't think i could choose because everything was really good um yeah i'm excited i wonder what that i wish their thing said what their next theme was um i believe they've already done one surrounding magical creatures but either way that was very fun. I feel a bit like sparkly and giddy after opening that. I'm just like, my eyes have been opened to a whole new magical world and I want to know more about it. Um, <laughs> maybe they can write some books. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this first look to Mist and Magic and their Magical Shops box. I certainly did. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and would like to see more in the future of this box and I will see what I can do for you. But other than that, I hope you have a magical day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh my goodness, this is very good. I have to go make potions.